Hey guys, in today's shave, I'm using the Charcoal Goods Level 2 Safety Razor. Also stick around because I'm giving away a Lancaster Razors towel, coming right up. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host John, aka Latherhog. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. You've come to the right place if you're looking for all things related to the world of wet shaving. So I just finished up my trial with the Winning Razor, uh, thanks to Brian over at the Wet Shave Experience, and it got me thinking about heavy razors. And my other major heavy razor in my collection is this one right here, and that's from Charcoal Goods. Uh, this is a level two aggression head. You can see, um, you know, I'm not totally familiar with all the different versions, but underneath has the stamped information. And uh, this one is made of brass, as they do a couple different materials. And this handle right here is called the Magnum, which just looks really wonderful and it's quite hefty. The complete razor weighs in at 128 grams. So I kind of want to see, you know, as far as, you know, aggression and efficiency and all that good stuff, how the charcoal goods feels. Because I haven't, I don't think I've used this in maybe a, close to a year, if not more than that. So uh, that's what we're going to put to the test today. As for my brush today, I've been really lucky recently um, being able to borrow a bunch of you know really high-end brushes, uh, in particular brushes from Decoration Grooming. But this one came in you know, maybe like a week, week and a half ago, and I still haven't used it yet. So you get to join me for my first use of this brush right here. And this is from Oku. And Oku Brushes is based out of California. This handle shape right here is called the Bilbao. You can see right there. It's a very jelly, very dense 28 millimeter knot that's been soaking. And just the colors, which I know is always a little tricky to show on camera. I, I feel like natural sunlight, the outdoors, tends to show brushes off well, but this is a beautiful blue color. I would drive a car in this, <laughs> this shade of blue. But yes, yeah, so I've never used Oku brushes. I heard great things from John. I've heard great things from Jack over at the Virtual Groom Room. So can't wait to give this a try today. And lastly, for the software, we are going with, from Angora Soaps, Olympos. Olympos is very much a summery scent. Uh, and this is not my first go with it. You know, I realized uh, this summer has been so busy and while I use this off camera, took photos, photos of it and whatnot for Instagram, uh, I never shaved with it on camera. So I wanted to make sure I use this uh, along with the uh, little cute splash right here. I received these both um, as a gift from Angora Soaps. Uh, this was a tester uh, right before they launched their alcohol shaves, so uh, after shaves. So these are now available. Um, in a normal size and normal, you know, aftershave looking bottle uh, with all their, I think with all the current scents in their lineup. But uh, this one is summery. Let me show you, uh, you know, solid packaging, ingredients in the bottom. You won't see a fresh pour, but very much you've seen, I've used it. This is a quite a firm soap right there. So even with applying a lot of pressure, it just barely makes a dent. And then the scent, scent strength off the puck. I would say this is about probably about medium or a hair above medium, so five or six out of 10 as far as scent strength goes. As I mentioned, it's a summery scent. Um, we still have warm weather here, so it's not too late to fit in those summery scents if you're like me and you choose your software based on the seasons. So that's what we got for the software today. And lastly, as far as beard growth goes, I've got four days of stubble going. I'm kind of averaging four to five days of, of stubble in between shades. I think it's just, you know, on account of busy times and whatnot. So anyway, we got some good hair growth to use with the Charcoal Goods razor today. And before we're getting lathered up, you know what I want to ask you guys. If you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber as it would really help out the channel. It would be one way to support me and what I'm doing here. And also I would just be forever grateful to you guys. Also, I want to invite you guys to check out the Lather Talk Discord to interact with fellow wet shaving enthusiasts, listeners of the Lather Talk podcast, and just all around cool people.
All right, so we've got the brush loaded as you can see here. And let's get into the face lather. And I'll tell you more about Olympus. Now, the inspiration for this scent is the Mediterranean coast by Turkey. And the scent note breakdown is as follows. This includes neroli, lemon, citrus, white flower, jasmine, cedar, amber, and musk. I would say it reminds me a little of kind of like an aqua de parma kind of scent, although not exactly that. Um, I think it's just the way that the, the, there's citrus and woods and very much so um, that neroli is at the forefront. So if you don't like neroli, if you don't like white florals, I know that it, that tends to be a very polarizing note. Um, this one probably, this one probably should be a pass for you as I think it's very, very strong. I for one actually absolutely love neroli. And even amongst my warm weather fragrances, um, there's a few that really feature that note that I like, including uh, Mugler Cologne. I think it's called um, Mugler Come Together, might be the more updated name. It's the one with the green liquid inside. Really fresh, like a fresh out of, out of the shower kind of scent. And that's mo mostly that one note of Neroli. And another one is um, Artisan Pure by John Varvatos. And neither of those colognes you know, are like heavy hitters as far as longevity, but it just, it kind of evokes, you know, clean, uh, fresh out of the shower again, maybe like a white t-shirt, <laughs> maybe a linen shirt, um, very summery, breezy kind of feel. Now, as far as how I'm liking this Oku brush, uh, it's 28 millimeters. It is quite large, but um, not too large, <laughs> you know, for my hands. Uh, feels good, the shape, very classic shape. Again, great, great color on this one. Uh, John, fellow YouTuber, you should go check out his channel. Um, John Shaves did warn me that this was quite a uh, jelly brush knot, but by no means is it slimy. That's usually <laughs> when it's too, too gelled for me, is once it becomes slimy. I mean, it's incredibly soft, don't get me wrong, but it's not <laughs> soft, but not slimy. It's what I'm, uh, what I'm shooting for here. And it just feels really good. All right, so we are lathered up here. Here's a closer look. And as for this soap formula from Angora, it does remind me a little bit of Sterling and even of Mickey Lee soap works for those of you who uh, use them before, uh, uh, before before they got discontinued. Uh, it's, you know, how the soap is really firm. Um, it's very easy to work with and even the look of the lather, it's not super dense, but it's creamy. And, uh, you know, based on past shaves, it gets the job done. So if you kind of, you know, uh, have been around in the world of wet shaving and you're not as into the really super dense, you know, low volume kind of soaps, I would say this is a little closer to what came in the past um, with some modern sensibilities. So anyway, enough blathering about the lather. Did I just rhyme? Let's go in with the first pass on the charcoal goods level two. Uh, this is loaded with a Gillette Silver Blue Blade. I do remember some really great audio feedback with this razor. And this is one where I'm barely applying any pressure. For me, the level two is probably as aggressive as I'd go with charcoal goods. Level three, um, having tested out in the past, is just a little bit, bit too much as far as blade feel and, and aggression goes. And for anyone who might do some research on charcoal goods afterwards, at the time of, th of this recording, and really for most of uh, 2021, charcoal goods did move cities and had, had because of uh, COVID and I think just permits and other stuff, um, 
their reopening has been delayed. So there haven't been any new charcoal goods razors, I think for over a year now. And I really do hope that, um, I think at last I checked, things are still moving just really slowly, but um, they make some great razors. The last razor they introduced was the Everyday Razor, which you've seen me use in this, um, on this channel. And that's a great one. Highly recommend it. It's efficient, but overall very, very little blade, very little blade feel. I think I have that for that one. I have the stainless steel version with a hollow or semi-hollow handle, so it's, it's on the lighter side, but really um, handles really well. Very nimble. That's another one I would call deceptively efficient. This one, especially with uh, this Magnum handle that I paired it with, it's uh, the weight itself is a, is a reminder to be careful and to respect this razor. All right, so that first pass went by super quick. Uh, that efficiency of the level two, really, man, I, I'm impressed just how much of that stubble it, it has brought down already. All right, so now to the part of the video where probably a lot of you are waiting for, and that is the giveaway. So in this video, I'm giving away one Blurple Lancaster Razor Towel. Blurple, such a fantastic color, blue, purple, it's baller, it makes you feel like a king. And the softness of this towel is incredible. And as the drops are kind of infrequent, um, you know, this is a side gig for Andre who runs Lancaster Razor Works. Last time he had a drop uh, over the summer, I picked up one extra towel to give away to you guys. Now, ideally, I would like this towel to go to someone who has never used a Lancaster Razor Works towel. However, the contest is open to everyone. Now all you need to do to enter is make sure you're a subscriber to the channel and then comment down below, give me that blurple. And that's it. We'll leave the giveaway open for one week and in a video next week, I will announce the winner. Good luck to everyone entering. All right, now let's lather up for that second pass. So against the grain is where I'm gonna have to Tread lightly, especially in the neck region. It's one of those real realizations in making these videos that subconsciously I always kind of gave a little extra push. And really what it needs is a really light touch. I hope you guys can hear what I'm talking about as far as like this thing being a audio feedback beast. As far as blade feel goes, I was kind of thinking that from all the razors I've used in the recent months, Going back to this one, I would find, you know, find it to be way too much blade feel. That's really actually not the case at all. I would say it has a moderate level of blade feel, but nothing, nothing crazy. All right, so a really great shave today. I think this is the razor I'd go to if I have like a week, a week's plus worth of growth. If for whatever reason I accumulated that much, I would definitely reach for this one. Um, despite its heft, I think it's it just pairs really well with the aggression and, and efficiency of this um, of this razor head. And yeah, so in some some ways I was thinking this was a test to see if this would stay in the den but I'm glad to say this kind of passed that test with flying colors. And as far as the Oku brush goes, man, this thing felt great. Uh, very pillowy, very soft. Again, not too, not too jelly by any means. Also, I can show you guys after rinsing out the brush, 
just look, look at how that thing bloomed. It's gigantic. Again, it's 28 millimeters, but easily looks and feels like a 30 millimeter brush knot here. Here I am kind of wrapping things up, but I almost forgot to apply the matching aftershave for Olympus. So be very, very careful not to put too much. This one is very strong as far as the longevity of the scent. I will have to compare eventually, like the, uh, this is the tester version, but see where scent strength lies in the final, um, in the final splash that Angora did. But this one, it is, uh, it fills the bathroom up. And I would say it definitely, it's among the stronger, the, the more strongly scented um, aftershaves that I've tried. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Take care.